Are you a gamer, guitarist, music and movie buff like me? Well, maybe not all of those, but I think I might have found the surround sound system to cater to all of your audio needs without breaking the bank. Today, I'm going to review the Logitech Z906 5.1 THX surround sound system. So Logitech have long been in the peripheral space, making everything from game controllers to keyboard and mice combinations, and of course, speaker sets. I would argue that the day has passed since big brands like Logitech would make these home theater setups to cater to all of your audio needs. But is Logitech's latest offering a flag on the moon as to their intention to bring back elite audio systems from yesteryear? Let's find out. Let's kick it off with a super fast unboxing. On paper, the Z906 subwoofer pumps out 165 watts, while the satellite speakers breathe a clean 67 watts each, including the center speaker. Therefore, the total package should be 500 watts, but on the box, it has a very clear and distinctive 1000 watt rating. According to Logitech's website and doing a bit of a Google search, apparently this system is capable of putting out 1000 watts under certain conditions but I couldn't find out exactly what those certain conditions were. I have reached out to Logitech asking them as to where this additional 500 watts comes from, but at the time of review, I've received no response from Logitech. Here's a list of key specs for the Z906. So clearly it's a 5.1 system that has 500 watts of total power. It can be set up in a 2.1, 4.1 or stereo 3D matrix mode. It boasts Dolby Digital, DTS and PCM audio. Sound pressure level is rated up to 110 decibels. Frequency response is amazing from 35 Hz to 20,000 kHz, while signal to noise ratio is weighted to 95 decibels. It has quite a range of input options, including RCA, optical, coaxial, six channel direct 3.5 millimeter jacks, analog stereo, also 3.5 millimeter jacks. It does include a remote control, and yes, it comes with fantastic Duracell batteries. I certainly love buying from big brands like Logitech who don't skimp on what you need to get your audio system up and running with ease. Included in the box is a remote control with good Duracell AAA batteries, a control console, five bundles of 18 gauge speaker wire with the rear cables totaling a sizable 7.6 meters each, while the front and centers have a healthy 4.6 meters each in length. Six channel direct audio input cable at 3.5 millimeter jacks, a user manual, and of course the 5.1 speaker system itself. The only thing it's missing is decent speaker stands. However, they do have the option for wall mounting with screw points on the back of each speaker. As a compromise, all the speakers have sticky rubber pads that are meant to act as feet that will do the job just fine. I'm just a little picky when it comes to that stuff. So it would have been nice to see stands included, but for the price point, that's probably an unrealistic expectation. On the back of the sub, you can see the Z906 has plenty of input options, including six channel direct PC sound card ports, RCA stereo, two digital optical ports, and a coaxial port. All up, there are five audio options that can all be connected at once and cycled through on the control console, should you be so inclined. The control console is easy to understand with options for what input is selected, what channels are being used, what volume each channel is currently set to, a mute button, a massive volume wheel, and effects selector for cycling between 5.1, 4.1, 2.1, and or no audio effects. The remote is also capable of managing all these options well. Great feature right there. On the side of the console is two 3.5 millimeter jacks for headphones or connecting your phone as an auxiliary input. The Z906 supports all major digital audio providers, including Dolby Digital, DTS, and of course, THX. 
Setup time will vary depending on the size and placement of the satellite speakers in your room. For me, it took around 20 to 30 minutes to thread all the cables nice and neatly around my room. But the whole unit is effectively plug and play. Considering the cost of these speakers is a modest 300 US dollars, you know that some corners are going to be cut. For me, most notably, the satellite speakers do not have separate tweeters. So while the package boasts 110 decibel sound pressure level, 35 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, and a signal to noise ratio of up to 95 decibels, it is clear to me that some of that information must be lost without separate tweeters for the speakers. To simplify this equation, a tweeter deals with the upper ranges of signal. When there is a separate cone to the main speaker diaphragm, you get better dynamic ranges in treble values over a speaker that just has one main cone. Okay, I hope that makes sense. For me, I'm a bit of an audiophile, so the satellite speakers at best, they're okay. I can instantly tell that they don't have the depth, for lack of a better word, over my previous surround set, the Creative Gigaworks S700 7.1. As you can see, those speakers are visibly larger than the Z906 speakers and have added tweeters that I crave. But for most people, you won't notice the differences. The Z906 are great bang for your buck. When I compare the Z906 sub to my Gigaworks S750 sub, there are a few differences that stand out. Most notably, the Z906 doesn't have an external heatsink, which has me speculating as to how the subwoofer that doubles as the amplifier is able to disperse the inevitable heat that would be generated inside. Perhaps it plumes out the cone on the side of the unit. No idea, but it does make me wonder if it will last in the long run, certainly through Sydney's notorious heat waves as we get in summer. As for the size of the power unit, it pumps out all the bass you will ever want. And thankfully, you can reduce the blast with the control console. I found the bass overwhelming using my acoustic guitars, but it was a dream with my heavy metal guitars. So it's a good all rounder. If you are after a good 5.1 surround system that doesn't break the bank and is capable of handling games, movies, music, and preamp guitars, then the Z906 is an absolute contender for your money. There are obviously vastly more powerful and more dynamic systems available on the market, but the advantage of the Z906 is that everything is already in the box. You don't need to spend a pile of money on a separate amp or receiver. There are enough inputs to satisfy anyone, and the speaker cables are nice and long for larger rooms. I did, however, find a few options from Klipsch and Edifier who could offer the Z906 a serious challenge, but both Klipsch and Edifier have blatantly cut their 5.1 systems from the Australian marketplace. So right now, the Z906 doesn't have any real competition in its price point. If you're in the market for a decent 5.1 surround system for your gaming, solo jamming, music and movie needs, then you should consider the Z906. As for the price, this set is really hard to beat. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check them out. I always look to continue the conversation down in the comments. So let's meet up there and talk all things surround sound. If you like this video from me, why not hit that sub -a button and ping that little bell so you never miss a video from me. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.